Oh, sorry. Glad I got a hold of you, Red Hat friends. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Over! Ha-ha! I mean, ha-ha! I knew you'd be up for this. Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But, sooner or later, someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Well, since Mr. brigo has gone, Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking, who does Charlie know who's efficient and can handle themselves in a fight? You help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business, Red Hats. It's simple economics. Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hats, it's me, your old buddy, Charlie. Don't worry, your old buddy, Charlie, won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance and you'll be paid handsomely. I knew you'd say that. All right, we have a hideout not far from the bazaar entrance, near the old parking lot. We'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. Check me out. 
Thanks so much for ensuring we got this shipment of power armor. I used to bruise my knuckles beating folks into line. No longer. It's like the suit punches for me. Calibration was a bit off at first, though. You should have seen this one guy's head pop. Kaplow! Anyway, these refugee vermin aren't going to punch themselves. Thanks again, Rangers! I was talking to Diligent Joe the other day. Yeah, for the words of the Reyeses to buy up and turn into playpens. Seriously. Why would you even want to live with them? Apartments? Who's there? What? You're here? I don't believe it. Come in. Come in. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant, is what I am. V-I-G-I-L-A-N-T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. <laughs> They're bought and paid for. Sure as hell never help ordinary citizens, let me tell you. Unless you pay them extra. But I never pay anybody until they earn it. Because I ask them to do their job. They hate that, the lazy, fat-ass carbuncles. If they never did a lick of work in their lives, it would be too much for them. Ugh. The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just know it. Okay, Rosie. We got it.
rainbow tables used to break encryption. These molides do not compute. One, three, five, seven, eleven. What's my name? Why don't you tell me my name? Gone, the greatest mind of a generation. Thrown down the Gazaman Platz. <laughs> These molides do not come here. Half of the world, ma! Gone. The greatest mind of a generation thrown down the Gazaman Platz. Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug. Eureka! The secret at last! Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars. Can you see me? Do I exist? Thank you so much! You have been the most gracious! Ah. I am a human just like you! I'm Swivis Cup Schmidt! Mind of a generation thrown down the Gazaman Platz. Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug. They must never know. What's my name? Why don't you tell me my name? Sunday, Sunday, Nitro burning you on the Compute.
the secret at last! Do not compute! I need a band-aid! The size of a truck!
What was all that noise? Did you just have a shootout in apartment three? Actually, don't answer that. Just tell me what Irv is doing in there. Well, I'm not paying you one Colorado penny until you can tell me for sure. Must be some kind of evidence in there. If I'm gonna evict a tenant for misconduct, I need all the proof I can get. Ah, oh, this place attracts all the crazies.
Fuck off.
So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? Weird or how? Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. On clowning and village on village what? Village. Clowning? No, no clown books. Sorry. No, no cloning. You know. Um, I guess. Who are you? I, I, I'm Irv. What do you want? Oh no! Did you kill them? Oh, oh poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. I... Uh... Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself, and I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of mm, afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. The, when they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If... if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He... he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world.
until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? Or, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... no. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I, I swear. You believe me, don't you? Oh, thank God. So, you're not gonna arrest me. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! I, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you, I promise. Thank you so much! Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Ah, oh, that's kinda sad. What did you do with him? Well, how about that? I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just... Didn't want him here. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. So long. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. 